we had this past week. We went to an Impact Wrestling match. We went to some familiar names, and oh that was really uh, Samoa Joe versus Bobby Lashley from Impact Wrestling's Slammiversary 2014. Uh, this was, and this was not going to be the only match of the night, as uh, the winner actually found themselves in, I believe, a three-way steel cage match with Eric Young as the uh, heavyweight champion at the time. How very TNA of them. It and sounds. That, it, that's it, when it Bobby is. Lashley won the title, yeah. Uh, so I believe. So. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I don't I actually don't know for that. I, I think I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It feels like it felt like it was going that way from this. Yeah. Um, if you missed Samoa Joe and Samoa Joe matches, I mean, it's a very Samoa Joe match, right? And I, I think Bobby Lashley <sighs> is in a very good spot too. We get the groaning. We're getting the groaning. Um, but uh, I, 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 I thought it was a good match. I really enjoyed it. And 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 forgetting even this era where I think we very much were just over Impact Wrestling. Like and I, and I imagine this was still. Oh, at, Eric Young won that match. Eric Young did win that match. Yeah, probably around that era. I felt like he won the belt more in the like anthem changeover era, right? Yeah, he when he Bobby did won. too, but he also won um, when he was doing the main event mafia stuff. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, a proto hurt hurt business, if I recall us discussing before. Mm -hmm. But uh, but uh, uh, Mike, what did you think of this one? Uh, groans aside. It was a fine Lashley match. It was a worse than average Samoa Joe match. Oh, jeez. No, because Samoa Joe can do better, yeah. and Lashley couldn't at this point. Okay, okay. No, I, I don't think their styles mesh well together. Okay. Because Samoa Joe, um, when he's in there with straight powerhouses, his moveset isn't nearly as effective he needs people in the ring that have a little bit of either ground game to them, which La which Lashley did not have at the time, or a little high flying to them as well. Hey, Lashley didn't and have run. Lashley's a former collegiate wrestler. How did he not have a uh, ground game? He wasn't. He wasn't using it at the time. Okay, he, he didn't use it at all. This, this wasn't. This wasn't. This wasn't his MMA Lashley. Okay. This wasn't M.M. Lashley. Like, it, that <laughs> wasn't this era. This was just straight Lashley coming in, and I hated this era of Lashley in TNA. Mm -hmm. I, I hated this part. And, like, the match was fine. It was under 10 minutes. I mean... And it, it is a, I, it, I thought it was lackluster. Mm -hmm. it, 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 like, it was, it was fine. For a, t, for a middle of a pay-per-view TNA card in 2014, yeah, it's fine. Could that main event a show? Fuck no. Absolutely not. Like, you couldn't even may have entered Impact, in my opinion. But, you know, it was there, I guess. Like, it, nothing really stood out to me. No. Okay. No, just to how the finish was, how quick it was to me. Even and, when I hit the referee and... I think it, 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 definitely, it definitely suffers from being pretty much a, a tournament-style match, right? Being that there's another match later in the night that I'm sure is going to be a lot more involved being a cage match and a three-way in the main event, right? So but Lashley uh, didn't oh. have no intensity. He didn't have no intensity. Mm -hmm. Like now he's he's full of intensity, of course. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you're going to you're going to try to uh, you're going for a tournament a title tournament, try to get in for the main to win a title. You you want some intensity? But mm -hmm. that's just hey, uh, you guys want to hear the rest of the card from this show? Just for funsies. Well, well if, before we get to that, uh, yeah. Ronnie, did you have a chance to watch this match? I didn't, but I'm going to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know about the homework because I haven't really been uh, tuning doing in. your homework. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, we got we got to reinstitute you on Slack apparently because I know I tagged you over there. Did you? So okay. yeah, I did. No, no pizza, no action figures till you do your homework. That's right, man. Fuck. Come on. Fuck. Come on. Shit. Son of a know. bitch. I know it's been a while, but you know the rules. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm gonna watch it though. Okay. All okay. Right. You better. So, <laughs> so the rest the rest of this show. Oh boy, this is so TNA. Okay, there's a ladder match for the X Division Championship to kick off the show. Mm -hmm. Sonata uh, beat Manic. Fuck that guy. T Gray Uno, Davey Richards, Eddie Edwards, and Crazy Steve. Sorg, do you know who was with Crazy Steve? At the time? Daphne? Is it Abyss? Uh, no, it was Nux. 
better known as Michael Q. Knoxville. Whoa, there's some uh, Mayhem Show lore for you yeah, from the back uh, in the day. And also Rebel was with him and uh, the freak Rob Terry, if you remember that guy. Oh. I remember Rob Terry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Lashley beat Samojo, obviously. Uh, the next match was Magnus with Bram beating Willow with Abyss. Oh, wow. Jeez. It makes me w- miss Willow. <laughs> um, that was my favorite uh, Jeff Hardy character. Austin Aries, fuck that guy, beat Kenny King. Um, this the, the the Von Erichs, Marshall and Ross Von Erich. What? Defe- yes. Defeated the bromance of Jesse Goddard's and... <laughs> DJ DJ Z DJ Z friend of the show. Were they were um, they real Von Erichs or were they? Yeah, they're the real Von Erichs. They're with Kevin Von Erich. They're not the same Von Erichs yeah. that yeah, like, kids. Kevin. Oh, okay. Are they the same? Yeah. Are they the same they're... Von Erichs there on MLW now? Probably. Kevin's boys. I, I, I was gonna say, sort. There ain't many left. I'm sure they have to be. Like I didn't know if there's not many <laughs> left or still an entire litter of them out there we don't know about. No, no. So, so I don't know the Von Eric. Uh, all, all I know is the daughter was annoying as shit. Mm. It still is actually. I, was, I saw some videos of her at WrestleMania weekend without oh, a no. mask on doing fake interviews. Oh. Hmm. oh. Yeah. No, you don't want to look. Yeah, that she up. does. She definitely does some special projects that pop up mm. from here and there. Uh, special. So, special. Uh, um, special. Angel- special Angel- customized Angel- projects. Yes. Uh, Angelia Love defeated Gail Kim. Oh, I love oh. Angelia Love for the Knockouts wow. Championship. Um, that, was worth, that was worth paying for this pay per view. <laughs> some, yeah. some some guy named Ethan Carter the Third. Huh. Oh. I don't know, man. Who who'd he ever beat? Uh, he beat. Oh, he beat Bully Ray in the <laughs> <Jeff> match. <laughs> Oh, and, and EC3 was accompanied by Rockstar Spud and Dixie Carter. Fantastic. Apparently, yeah. he's doing some weird ass shit. Hmm. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, doing sure some weird promos like and shit. Like, still? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, sure I, looks like it. Yeah, I remember when he was like, when he first got released, they were doing some interesting stuff. Yeah, and, he's doing um, some weird shit now. Okay. Um, the the semi main for this show, Sorg. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have may have. I wouldn't have said I may have had this match in two thousand eight. Mr. Anderson defeated James Storm. Hmm. For a title or anything, or nope. it's just nope. just the semi main. Just semi main. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, oh. this was the. It was retaliation for Storm costing Anderson a world title opportunity, oh. and then they had a drinking contest. Which is oh. funny because uh, James Storm was involved in a drinking contest of sorts on this past weekend's Hardcore Justice show. Yeah, so uh, I'm not surprised because he makes terrible choices. He could have been in NXT for a year and then called up to reteam with Bobby Roode, and they could be the SmackDown Tag Team Champions right James, now. But... James Storm is also the one that stole my vodka at the Gathering of the Juggalos. So. Uh, James Storm was also the same guy I saw being carried out of a nightclub in New Orleans, I did. I don't think I was aware of that one. <laughs> oh yeah, he was. He was being dragged out, and and I was just walking past him, and I was drunk as well, but not nearly as drunk as he was. And I'm like, Mm-mm. is that James Storm? <laughs> Are you James Storm's drunk or? <laughs> no, I, I wasn't going James to approach Storm. him because if he was, then he would have. No, 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 no. That's like off. that's like that's like a level now when you're yeah, drinking. By, by, by you ask your friend. Boots, I'm like. I'm like, yeah, that's James. Storm. Are you, are you, are you James Storm drunk, or are you Hangman Adam Page drunk, or are you Stone Cold Steve Austin doing a beer bash drunk? Right. It doesn't matter how drunk you are. If you got to get escorted out, you can't handle your sauce. That's true. <laughs> well, I, I, just, I did want to scream sorry about your damn choice. <laughs> sorry about your damn luck. That's safe. right. <laughs> that's right. Well, and, and of course, the main event was Eric Young beat Lashley and Austin Aries. Austin Aries was the third. Okay. Yeah. Right. Fuck that guy. That's not worth paying for. That that no. was not worth paying Mm-mm. for. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, it was rough around then. I'm I, I'm I'm having trouble justifying a full price pay per view now with Impact mm-hmm. Wrestling, and sure. I and I pay for Impact Plus. Mm-hmm. So, mm. I got homework for you. Oh boy. I I tried looking for some that by figures you found. I it. hope that this will make things easier for you, Mike. Oh boy. This is my favorite era of a company oh. of this particular company. Um with my favorite probably my favorite feud in that company's existence. Mm. 
<laughs> what are you croning for already? You don't even know. I, you know where this is going? Sorry, I'm, ju I'm just... I'm anticipating. You're pre-groaning. You're pre-groaning because I'm about yeah. to tell you it's going to be from Impact Wrestling's Jason Genesis pay-per-view. Oh, boy. Okay. It's 2006, Mike. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. Because the match is Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. It's a very good yeah. match. Oh, oh, God. No, what? It's a good oh, match. God. This, dude, this Fine. is the best thing Impact ever did no this is when i was worried about kurt angle's life well we were also thinking there was that there was also there was like, a lot no of, i don't want it this don't is, don't Lord, get this killed is ptsd it. for me <laughs> this is when samoa joe headbutts kurt angle listen, busts his head open. listen yes i want to i want to point out man mike is worried about kurt angle meanwhile we're all sitting here in pittsburgh where he can actually dui our asses with his car mm -hmm. okay like and sorg why do you think i'm up at three in the morning building legos I worry for all of you. <laughs> Cause he knows. I got no comment on that one. Because <laughs> he knows. Because he knows we could trip over uh, in 2006 a, a potentially drunk Kurt Angle, Virgil just in general. Uh, let's see. Who else is a problem around here? Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a bold uh, question. So oh, I, I, I won't even say nothing. Corey Graves. Oh, well, I, I wasn't even getting into indie wrestling. Uh, oh. We got we got Corey Graves, Sterling James Ke Keenan, just being um, as I referred to him as a time, just the slimiest human being when you see him. Mm -hmm. it, the, the, like that was like that was a, that was a compliment actually. But uh, I was um, like, he was always he always treated me cool. I'm just gonna say Jimmy Demarco was active. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> <laughs> one could argue Jimmy Demarco is still active. I was in year one. <laughs> That was yeah. It was like year one of Jimmy Demarco, probably. So well, I I just saw Jimmy Demarco last week. Just uh, I mean, he's not far from the studio. So let me ask you a question. Do you hmm. see any of these guys you guys talk about now that they come over and knock on your door and pretend they have pizza or? Uh, at least one of their brothers I see it from time to time. <laughs> That's will just show okay. up at my studio, but not, oh, not lately, okay. but. Uh, hey, hey, but sir, I, it's been, it's been a while. Guys. I just want to. <laughs> it's been a while. Say hi. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, but no, who else was it? I can't say that Kurt Angle is knocking on my door, but uh, I don't know. Weird things <laughs> have right, happened. Sorry. So, so what you're telling me is I'm going to have to find the assignment for next week. I mean, you... <laughs> if, you're, if you're tired of me giving you Samoa Joe matches from TNA, I guess so. I guess I, I can't I do better than am. this. You actually are. Is this the second one you've given out? This is second the third one. This is the third one I've done. Yeah. The first oh. one was Cool and O'Reilly.